Hello students, uh, welcome to a lesson on finding slope when they give you an equation, okay? And we also wanna let people know if the slope is going positive, uh, meaning going upward, or going downward, which means negative, all right? So we look at the equation like this, okay? Now, uh, they didn't ask for the y-intercept, so I think we're okay with that. Remember, your main focus is finding slope, so you want y equal to mx plus b, and that will give us a slope. And this one already has a y equal to mx plus b, so I can expect that, oh, the slope is this number right here. Don't worry about the y-intercept, because they only ask for a slope. So my slope is negative two over seven, as you can see, it's negative, so obviously this is going downward. All right? Okay, number two. Now, again, this one doesn't give you a y equal to mx plus b, but that's okay. We're going to solve for that, all right? So I'm going to solve for the y, and I'm going to get rid of this one first. So I'm going to add 4x. I like to write my x first, and then the plus 9. If you write the other way, that's okay too, but see how like x comes first. That makes it easier. Now, I'm going to divide by 3, and make sure you divide everything by 3. Okay, so that you can't divide that. That's okay, because that's your slope anyway. Plus 3. And there you go, that's your slope. And uh, this one is positive. Oop, my bad, you don't need the x for the slope. And then you can just write down upward. Now this one is larger than the slope of one, so you know it's going steeper. Remember it's steeper, okay? And this one here is actually uh, less than, um, well, without the negative sign, right? Two over seven, negative, so it's actually going flatter, okay? All right. Now this one over here, number three, let's go ahead and solve for y. This one's a simple, subtract by five to both sides. Uh, let's go ahead and put a one right here. I call it the phantom one. It's sort of like it's there, but you don't see it. So negative one x minus three. Again, you should know your slope now is negative one. And this one's exactly, uh, goes right through the middle of the graph. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and do number four. Number four, uh, now, when, for your equation, y is equal to mx plus b. Now, if your y on the other side, meaning that it's mx plus b is equal to y, that means the same thing. So as I can see, I can, if I just divide by negative three, then I already know what my slope is, okay? So uh, let me see here, let's get to this one, negative two, minus negative um, oh, six x is equal to, then cancel y. So right there, that's my slope right there. Okay, so my slope is negative six. And obviously this one is steeper. Okay, it's steeper uh, on the negative side, all right? And you can write down steeper. All right, um, this one here, this one here is a uh, horizontal graph. Okay, this one's at negative nine. So therefore, since it's a horizontal graph, my slope is zero. M is equal to zero, same thing, okay? Uh, horizontal graph. This one here, uh, we talked about it on my other video. Okay, this one here, this graph is actually vertical. Okay, so this one here is undefined. Oops, write this down real fast. Undefined slope. Now you can just write undefined, it's good enough. All right, thank you, and that's it.